A TV6 camera crew was on duty Wednesday filming the ANV drilling and whoop over compound in Pinal when the sound of a glass Hello? bottle shattering as it just missed our crew Hello? of Phil Britton and Leona Nicholas, forcing them to take cover at the side of the car which was parked on a public road. They continue recording while still under attack. Listen as they get on the phone with TV6 assignment editor Marlon Hopkinson. Marlon, Marlon I, I don't get in front of the people felt in Mr. Azat, you know, uh, hitting my car and all kind of thing, you know, Marlon. Where you are? Down by AV Drillon. Well, please? Well, Marlon, I tell you, I... You yeah, but Marlon, I died. I'll be ducking on hiding right now. Yeah, well, you had to be up. You will call the police, sir. That second crashing sound was this beer bottle smashing into the car's right rear window. Listen again as the camera is still rolling while Britain and Nicholas flee the scene. Yes, my lady is strong beyond I see green pieces of buckle on the ground. But well, then all right. So it's, okay, it's, but... it's, it's and the other person is at a cuss and say if we can get off a day they'll do whatever and whatever. Well all right. Okay. Okay, but it's so, so I'm driving um, straight to the police sorry, station. They say the missiles came from the opposite side of the road. Our crew is getting video of the compound as A and V Oil and Gas Limited is the company at the center of the Petrotrin fake oil fraud allegations. While covering the same story on Friday, Guardian photographer Christian De Silva was also attacked. The Guardian reports that De Silva was beaten by two men, one of them alleged to be a senior police officer, as De Silva was seeking an interview with A&V oil and gas owner Nazim Bash. One of the same attackers also smashed De Silva's camera into a wall, shattering it, The Guardian reports police are investigating both incidents. Anselm Gibbs, TV6 News.